now they are. Oh, my poor tummy! How hungry I am! Someone wants to eat? This is a job just for me. Is my granddaughter hungry? Okay, I'll fix it quickly. I think my sister is calling for help. I have to do it. I'm already running. Thank you for coming so quickly. I'm really hungry. Let's have a culinary challenge right now. It's going to be a lot of fun. I suggest starting with a simple one. Prepare delicious pasta for me. Easy. It'll be done. I can cook pasta. But I can't. But never mind, I'll think of something. It seems to be done quite simply. All you need to do is pull the spaghetti in boiling water. Only they're too long for this pot. We need to shove them deeper. The easiest way to do this, of course, is with your hands. Ah! How hot! My poor hands! Who does that? You just need to spread the spaghetti around the perimeter of the pen. They will cook and gradually fall into the water themselves. It's very simple. Awesome. Spaghetti. Oh, what on. kind of store-bought stuff is this anyway? Oh no! The best spaghetti what? is spaghetti made with your own hands. In my restaurant, I serve only such pasta. Yeah! In fact, there is nothing complicated about it. The main thing is to love your job. Treat cooking spaghetti with a soul. So I'm going to do everything from the beginning to the end on my own. Let's make some dough. And then cook some spaghetti from it. Okay. And to make it an unusual black color, I'll add a little food coloring. The dough is ready. Now we need to be properly made. Like that. Let's time it. Oh, it's too okay. long. What? In fact, no. everything can be done much easier. What? Is that all? See? It's not long at all. But from such a deal, we'll have unrealistically delicious spaghetti. So, awesome. you need to roll out the dough thoroughly. Let's do it. And then, cut it into thin strips with a special knife. See? Now you can throw it in a saucepan. Ta-da! Okay. A couple of minutes and the best spaghetti in your life is ready. It's time to fry the octopuses. They will add sophistication to the pasta. It looks very expensive. Granny, what are you doing? Ketchup is disgusting. I like it. Oh no! What's going on here? Tom, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the noodles out of the pot! And it doesn't want to fall into the plate in any way! Don't worry, you just overdid the spaghetti a little. Okay. And what do I do now? Right! I'm done with spaghetti! There's a way to make pasta much faster and tastier! To do this, you need a box of Korean Pororo noodles. It's not just delicious, but also so bright! Oh, what a mess. Oh, man. You're just jealous of me. But Kay will definitely pasta. choose my pasta. Ooh, come on! Well, well. I think I'll start with these black spaghetti. I've never seen anything like this before. Let's what? see. Oh, how oh. disgusting! <laughs> Who eats this at all? The okay. portion from the center looks much more ordinary. Spaghetti with ketchup, of course, I love, but... Um, it's too easy. Although it's pretty delicious. Okay. And now it's time for Pororo noodles. Let's see what it tastes like. The main thing is so bright. Wait, why is it so spicy? What a horror! But it was so cool. I love spicy. So Tom, congratulations on your victory. This time, make me delicious cacao. What? what are you waiting for? Hey. It's time to start! It will be done. Cool. I think I can handle it. Everything will be okay. perfect. Of 
course, you need to start with milk. It needs to be poured into a saucepan so that it gradually warms up. You need to pour cacao into it next and stir it all slowly. I'll resort to the secret ingredient and add some chocolate to the cacao. Then it will become much more delicious. That is my secret. Well, is it time to pour a drink into a mug? It is best to do this with a ladle. That way you definitely won't spill anything past the mug. Mm, how lovely. Also, it smells incredibly delicious. Yeah, it stinks all over the room. Grandma, your recipe is certainly not the worst, but why did you stop so early? What about the cream? Cream, by the way, will be much tastier if you whip it yourself. Let's do it. So, I pour it into a bowl. And I'm gonna mix it. Perfect. Let's move on. Come on! I'll decorate your cow with the resultant cream. But that's not all. It will look even more appetizing okay. if I put some marshmallows on top of the cream. Let's do it. Oh, it's perfect now. Why suffer so much? You can just use whipped cream. But I also like the idea of marshmallows. So I'll decorate cacao with marshmallows. But this is not the end. Why not add Oreo cookies? They're so nice. Okay. And they look perfect there. Or, for example, M&M candies. Or even better, add everything. And of course, do not forget about the chocolate syrup. That's what I like. Kay will definitely be thrilled. Let's see. Tom, your cacao looks really cool. I think I'll start with it. It's just unrealistically delicious. I hope the next candidates will be not worse. Next, I'll try cacao from my beloved grandmother. Grandma, I'm sorry, but Tom turned out better. The last candidate left. Mm, I really like this cacao too, but which one should I choose? I think I like Tom's version a lot. Now, I want you to make me chips. I hope you can do it. Chips? It'll be done. We'll see who's the winner. How are chips made in general? I'm just used to eating them, not cooking them. Tom, you need to peel the potatoes first. This is done very simply with the help of a special device. Now, each potato needs to be cut into thin slices so that it looks like real chips. Look how perfect they are. I'll do the rest of the potatoes now. And now you can fry them. The main okay. thing is not to spare the oil. Then the chips will turn out more crispy. I got everything! Now I'll make my better chips! She has never tried anything like this before! It turns out that potatoes can be peeled with an ordinary knife! Oh, cool! Tom, what are you doing? Stop littering! Uh, I think I went a little overboard. But I cleaned out everything! Well, now my favorite part. Potatoes need to be cut into thin slices. I also remember it's important not to spare the oil. In my opinion, there's quite a lot of it in my frying pan. It's time to dump the potatoes there. Tom, there's even too much oil. Therefore, it splashes in different directions. Yeah, you don't know how to cook chips. But I'll make real nachos for Kate. To do this, take a corn tortilla and cut it into identical triangles. <laughs> then you need to pour a little oil into a frying pan and spread these triangles on it. They will fry and turn into real nachos. 
Perfect. You can pull them out. It turned out just amazing. Now the nachos need to be spread out beautifully on a plate. As a sauce, we can use some cheese. So nachos will be even better. And it'll also be cool to add a little lime. Let's cut it. I've got it! How nice and beautiful it turned out! Perfect. I hope Kate likes it. Wait, where did the smell of burn coming from? Tom, what have you done? Oh, I just took my mind off chips for a second. Oh, now I have to give Kate this overcooked ambers. Oh, don't be upset. Maybe okay. she'll like it. I know what can help me! If you sprinkle some cheese seasoning on the chips, Kate won't even know that I overcooked them a little. Perfect! Hmm, <laughs> I did it. I don't know about that. Come on! Well, well, everything looks very cool. Tom, according to tradition, I'll start with your dish. Ugh, disgusting! It's like I'm eating charcoal with cheese powder! Horrible! I wonder what the chef has prepared. To be honest, I've never tried real nachos before. Um, apparently I'm not a fan. I don't really like them. Grandma, there's only one version left to try. Mmm, how delicious! Grandma, I'm loving it. You win this round. Perfect! For the first round, I want a cocktail. What? It'll be done. I'll try to prepare it. Okay. I work with like as often. I think I can do it. Let's go! Time to start. I knew that my flasks would still be useful to me. I'll make real soda. I know that any cocktail with soda is very nasty. But I want to see how Kate will make different funny faces. To make it at least a little tasty, I'll add juice and syrup. Bingo. Decorate a cocktail with a slice of lemon and a spring of mint. Awesome. Kenny, what are you looking at? It's time for you to start cooking. Okay. Easily. I'll make a cocktail of ingredients that everyone loves for sure. The basis of my cocktail will be cola. In order to have more bubbles in it, I'll shake it thoroughly. Oh! I think I went a little overboard. <laughs> it's all because you don't know physics and chemistry. It's not funny. I'm almost out of coke. Okay, I hope that's enough. I'll fill the empty space in the mug with whipped cream. I love the combination of cola and cream. It's incredibly delicious. And it'll also be cool to decorate a cocktail awesome. with different sweets. I'll probably start with my favorite marmalade bears. Looks cool. What's the matter with you? These are not cocktails. This is some kind of nonsense. Now I'll show you what a real cocktail should be. First, I need to make a beautiful ice ball. To make it work, there is a special technique. What? <laughs> it's just a cheap show off. Another thing is the cocktail that I've got. It's big and delicious. In addition, I'll decorate it with delicious color sprinkles and fizz. I just love it. It actually looks delicious. Mine will be much better. The ice ball is already done, so you can throw it into a glass. Then there goes cola. This is a universal drink that everyone loves. But that's not all. I'll make a steaming cocktail like in the most expensive restaurants. And I'll decorate my cocktail with a beach umbrella. Look at what a beauty turned out. I think my cocktail looks cooler. Yeah! And I like mine too. But how do I lift it? I hope I can do it. Come on, just a little more. Sure, because the cocktail hit me right in the face. Can't say it's nice. What? Okay. But admit it, it's pretty nice. I love it. Wanna have more? You'll be thrilled. Well, all cocktails look very unusual. I hope Let's they're go. not just beautiful, but also delicious. Doc! Ugh! Disgusting! I can't even have it! <laughs> That's funny. 
Doc, you're definitely not going to win. But Susie has prepared something interesting. Apparently, the ice ball needs to be broken with a hammer. And now we can try it. Mmm! Cool is a win-win option. Susie, congratulations on your victory. This is the most delicious cocktail for today. Oh, thank you, Kate. I tried especially for you. In this round, I want you to cook cupcakes for me. What? I can do it. Cupcakes? I can try. Okay. I love cupcakes too, but actually to eat them. But I'll try to cook it. Then let's go! Where should I start? No, I don't need the dough. I don't know how to work with it anyway. I'll make a cupcake according to a chemical <laughs> recipe. Just in case, I'll put on glasses. Then mix the liquids from the two test flasks. Look, now there'll be a miracle! Yeah! Done. Let's see how delicious it is. What? Candy, give me Coke. I'll need it too. It needs to be poured into the largest flask. And that's not all. I'll add a magic liquid to it. And now look. Hmm, let's see what's going to happen now. Awesome! It worked! I got a phone with the taste of Coca-Cola! It'll be the perfect addition to my cupcake. Beauty? But that's not all. Awesome. So, a little black powder will not be superfluous. Then an ordinary cupcake will turn into a real work of art. Voila! It's disgusting. No, I think I'll make a cupcake according to a more classic recipe. It's a pity that I ran out of cola. Although, it may go to my advantage. You need to get rid of the top of the jar. It's time for magic! Ta-da! The jar is the perfect mold for my future cupcake. I'll pour as much of the future biscuit into it as possible. Now my improvised cupcake needs to be put in the microwave. <laughs> it only remains too late. The main thing is to set the timer right. <laughs> and the pre mates for cupcakes are already done. It remains only to arrange them beautifully on a plate and decorate. Where can I go without sweet Let's cream? Go. It's a mandatory element of any delicious cupcake. But a cream of the same color is boring. Why not add some yellow cream? Then the cupcakes will form a very pretty flower. It remains only to highlight the contours. And draw a smiley face. It will be very beautiful. Like that. <gasps> Meanwhile, my cupcake is also ready. It's time to get it out of the oven. Voila! Look what a beautiful sponge cake I got. I'll decorate it with chocolate cream. As you can see, that's not all. Why not add some gummy Haribo bears? We need to put them on top. And of different colors, so it's pretty. And to make my cupcake look like cola, yeah! I'll stick a straw in it. <laughs> it turned out to be so cool! Kate, it's time to pick the winner. Where should I start? I think I'll start with Coke. Oh, uh, what am I doing? It's a cupcake! It should be eaten with a spoon. Let's try it? Hmm. I like it. Okay, what's next? Um, I'm afraid to try Doc Pete's cupcake. Doesn't look very appetizing. Hope it's not poison at least. You can expect everything from him. It's impossible to eat! Why are you mocking me? Wow! Susie, you've done something unusual again! I've never seen such a beautiful cupcake before! I hope it tastes just as cool! Ah, amazing! It's very tasty! Just can't stop! I want to eat all the cupcakes at once! Mm, awesome! Susie, 
Congratulations on another victory! Hooray! No wonder I've devoted my whole life to sweets. It's unfair. I was supposed to win. 